Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be doing something that people who grow carnivorous plants say that you should never do, and that's fertilizing your carnivorous plants. So let's start the video. If you're new to this channel, this channel is dedicated to the care and cultivation of carnivorous plants, just like all of these plants behind me. So if you think you'd be interested in something like that, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the notification button so that YouTube actually lets you know when we make a video every single week. So let's start the video. Okay, so before we start fertilizing all of our plants, we have a little bit of an issue. As you can see, it's a very gray and cloudy day and that's because there is a big storm coming and the storm is going to be raining throughout the whole night and the whole of tomorrow morning so we have our plants obviously outside here and the issue is that i usually use this piece of cardboard as a little bit of a roof over them when, when it showers every now and then and it works fine but the cardboard will not work if it rains super hard so we need to move all of these plants outside back up onto the porch and it's going to be really, really difficult. So let's figure out a way to do this. So obviously, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'd know that we have leveled, leveled out all of these trays with some grass underneath to keep them all the right level. So obviously, if we move the trays, it's going to completely ruin all the hard work that we've done. So what I'm thinking is that I'm just going to take the plants, put them into a separate tray, and just move that tray under cover um, for, the, for the next day or two or three, depending how long it rains, and then we'll move them back into the trays just like they are now so that the trays don't move and they can stay level and they can collect a lot of water. So yeah, let's start moving them out now and I feel like this is going to be very time consuming, but what are we supposed to do? The people who I wanted to get a polycarbonate roof from are still closed, so there's no real way of me getting a roof. So yeah, let's start it. So what we're doing, we're taking the pots from bottom right to, to, to left so that we can remember the order in which we're taking the pots so that we don't forget the order that we initially had them when we laid out all of our pots. Okay, and there we go guys, you can see all of our plants are here now on the porch, I guess. I don't know what you, what you call it in English, because in South Africa they speak Afrikaans and obviously the only word that anyone would say is that word, so that the word is veranda by the way. Maybe that is an English word, doesn't matter. Anyway, here are our empty trays, they will hopefully still stay level when the rain comes. And it'll fill up with, with some nice rainwater, obviously, help us. Here is our current water situation. If it rains really, really hard, what I will do is I'll empty this bucket out and move it underneath there with the other the two other buckets so that I can move all of our buckets underneath the house so that the UV rays, you know, doesn't destroy the plastic buckets and they'll have a longer life, essentially. Let's start fertilizing our plants. So here we go, guys. Here's a little bit of a closer look on our plants. And we now moved inside. Check these guys out. I think they draw some rotundifolia. The leaves look very characteristic of it, but they're huge. And hopefully you guys can see some of our Darlingtonia sprouts. Obviously it's very bad lighting under here, but we will be fertilizing our Drosera regi and our Drosera adelaide that we've spoken about in many of our videos now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take them out of these trays and we will take them inside and fertilize them inside uh, with some better lighting. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, and here we go guys. Here is our dross for Adelaide and our Regi. So let me just do a small update on them so you guys can actually see the plants. Here is our Adelaide. Feels like every single time I see it, it, it grows in size. There's a brand new leaf coming out and a new one has just opened up. And here is our dross for Regi, the two of them. The red one over there. 
and here is the other one. It's very difficult to see because I think it has like some kind of grey covering it. So, I mean, I can barely see it, but I think that a fertilizer will help these guys out quite a bit. So, let's look at the fertilizer ready, and then we can help them grow. Okay, guys. So here is our fertilizer, Power Feed. So I think it's backwards for you guys. But apparently this is like something very similar to Maxi in Australia. So Maxi is what you should use if you're American. You can get Maxi here, but it's extremely expensive. And this is liquid fertilizer. It's pretty much the same high nitrogen rating. And also you guys can see we have some chilies here, chili seeds. So yeah, I wanna start some chili seeds with you guys, but I have no idea how to grow them. So that'll be fun. Anyway, I'm gonna read the instructions on this bottle and figure out how much uh, fertilizer to use it's generally recommended that you do people always say between a quarter to the full rating dosage no one really has a true consensus so just to be safe i will do a quarter recommended strength on them and see how they react and if they do well with that then i'll go about a third or a half and see if there's any adverse effects with that but not the region because they're too precious i'll do with the adelaide and some capensis seedlings because they're pretty much useless <laughs> except for the adelaide really but yeah, let me measure it all out and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I've done the maths and doing quarter um, strength is not possible because my tiny little syringe that measures in 0.1 milliliters is not small enough. So I'm going to do half rate. Um, so that means it's 1, 0.1 milliliters, so I'll measure with this one. And that will go to 25 milliliters of water. So just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I've got the syringes here, some rainwater and obviously the sea salt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw up 25 mils of water into this from, from the glass. Get 0.1 mils of sea salt with this needle. Put the needle into here and then squirt it in. So it's gonna be very challenging and very annoying, but it's the best way to do it where I don't have to use a whole full spray bottle whereas i don't even want that much i guess 25 mils is the least that we'll have so i can put drops in all of the different plants that we have laying around anyway so it'll be okay so let's let's try this that looks disgusting No, obviously there's a bubble in it. Okay, I need to move this off camera because I cannot see. Okay, that's about 0.1. Let's put it into here now. Suck some water up. Okay, and that's about right. And let me go clean everything up a little bit. Okay, everything is now nice and clean. And look how cool this is, guys. Kind of like one of those lava lamp things. Didn't think about how I would mix it, but there's a bubble in there, so let's just shake it around with the bubble. Yeah, I can draw in more air like that. Make a bigger bubble. Okay, there we go. That looks like it's pretty much mixed up. So let's uh, put a droplet, literally a drop from this whole thing onto each one of our plants here with our new mix. So yeah, let me set up the camera for you guys. Okay, so let us start with this Drostra Regi over there. We'll do this one, and then we will do the next one, and then the Adelaide afterwards. Okay, so I gave it three drops. Okay, I hope you guys, I hope you guys will be able to see it right there at the tip of the syringe. So let's go with three drops. And that was three. So because it's such a small amount of droplets, we can still keep this regi 
in the tray with all the other plants. Those tiny droplets are not gonna be enough to affect any of the other plants. But this is kind of like a foliar fertilizer. So it will be great for the regias. And now our Adelaide, one that we can actually see from above. So let's give this guy three drops as well. Gave it more like five, six drops. Something because it's so big, the soil, the fertilizer reacts weird. And let's give it to this little sprout down here as well, just like we never talk about because it's not big enough. Yeah, that one had three drops. And I cannot see any more sprouts. So that, that is our plants fertilized now. Now I can only hope that they will react well to this. They should react well to it because obviously it's half rate, half recommendation, um, and it's droplets, so it's foliar, and it's obviously the recommended um, fertilizer to use for them. So in a couple of days time, we will check back up on them. They should be, um, if it works in a couple of days time, they must be looking really good. So yeah, if you guys wanna see that update, please remember to subscribe to the channel as it really helps the channel out. And if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like so that YouTube can actually recommend this type of content to other people who like the same type of stuff that you like to watch. Yeah, and also at the end of this video, I'm gonna include a clip of one of the trees here. I guess it's an Australian tree. The branches just fall off if you touch it. I do not understand why it does this. Maybe I was breaking it or something, but I don't think so. Because if you knock the tree, they fall off. It's so weird. So yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you next time. Check it out, guys. We, we moved all the plants here just in time. Just finished up the video. Hopefully you guys can hear it, but it's raining. Probably see it now, so on our cardboard. But yeah, super dark now. And this rain is going to last the whole night and tomorrow morning. So got it done just in time. All the plants are now happy. And there's our Adelaide we just fed. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.